Keeler Ringo is one of the best athletes in this class, plus he has outstanding size. So as a cornerback, nobody threw at him his senior year. He moved to running back and was outstanding there. He is just an athlete all over the field, and whoever gets him is getting a special player. Defensive end Miles Murphy has been a constant in the top 10 on Rivals.com. Nothing's changed on and off the field. He is a five-star player. The Clemson commit will go in and make an early impact for the Tigers. He checks every box on the list. Jordan Birch remains in the top 10 after having an impressive senior season, playing both ways of the ball, running back and defensive end. And he's the guy that's going to be in that conversation uh, when we have the final rankings meetings to move up even higher. It was a new high school, but the same dominant Paris Johnson this season, the Ohio State commit is a prototypical left tackle prospect with size, strength, athleticism, and he loves to bury defenders trying to get to his quarterback. Five-star Julian Fleming stayed right there in the top 10, actually moved up one spot to number six. The Ohio State commit still had a prolific season, and his skill set translate very well to the next level. We're expecting big things from him. Elias Ricks has such incredible length, ball skills, and athletic ability that he's the best cornerback in this class, and I'm not even sure it's close. He has the ability, like Derek Stingley Jr. last season, to step in at LSU and start right away. Justin Flo is hard hitting, he's awesome, he's aggressive, he's physical, he's everything you're looking for in a linebacker, and there's just absolutely no question that he's one of the top players in this class. He is a guy at the next level that's going to be outstanding from day one on campus. Quarterback Bryce Young checks in at number three overall in the new top 10 in the Rivals 100. Tremendous season, really finally convinced us that size is not an issue because he's just such a great player, dominates games with his feet, with his arm, and really just drives defenses crazy. So he couldn't end up being the number one quarterback or number one player overall. We'll have to see how the All-Star games pan out. Quarterback DJ Uwagalele uh, drops to number two, and the main reason for that is because we didn't, weren't sure who the number one quarterback in the country is, and if we don't know who the number one quarterback is, how can he be number one overall? So Breezy slides ahead of him, he stays at number two, and, and it'll be an interesting battle down the stretch between uh, Uwagalele and Bryce Young to see who gets that number one quarterback spot. We still love him, size, speed, uh, everything you're looking for. Defensive tackle Brian Breezy moves up to the number one player in the country. Just a relentless motor, a kid that you know is going to bring 100% to every snap and play. That's rare for a defensive tackle. Um, I think he's one of the safest picks in this class because he's going to go out there and give it his best, whether it's a defensive end or defensive tackle, to become great. Um, and, and I just absolutely love his, his nonstop focus and love of football. 